Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and one of the newest product forms out there is a no-rinse conditioner. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put one together and also talk you through some of the important formulation characteristics to make sure your no-rinse conditioner leaves the hair feeling beautiful and not weighed down. So let me show you how it's done. This is the product we're gonna be making today. As you can see, it's got a nice flow to it, a really nice spread, and it doesn't feel sticky, gummy, or waxy. Now, one of the first things we need to do to put this product together is form a really non-sticky gel base. So I have here some guar hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride. I'm using Enhance 3196 by Ashland. And I'm also combining this with some guar gum, and this is going to help me build good structure to the formula. Now the guar gum could cause fish eyes when being added, so I'm actually gonna combine the two and then add it into the water and you'll see I don't get fish eyes. It just swells and hydrates nicely. There's also an acidification step you'll see me do at the end and the product will turn quite clear. To this, I'm going to add some Step and Quat Salil. You would have seen me use this in the Minimalist Hair Conditioner. Step and Quat Salil is a cationic conditioning agent paired with sunflower seed oil glycerides. It's incredibly conditioning from a very small input required. And of course, it's got that lovely, partially natural story from the sunflower seed oil glycerides. I also use this in my video, Minimalist Hair Conditioner, and you'll see I used a really small input to achieve a fantastic conditioning result. So this is my Step and Quat Salil measured out here, and to this I'm just gonna add a very tiny amount of jojoba oil. You could use a different plant oil, just remember the conditioning benefits are coming from that cationic emulsifier material, not from the oil. Oil will weigh it down. You'll also notice I'm using a liquid material here and that also helps ensure the end product is nice and light on the hair and doesn't leave it feeling waxy and heavy like a normal conditioner would. Now I'm just gonna add this into my gelled base. And then I'm going to add some rice protein. I'm using about a half to a quarter what I normally would there. I'm adding a little bit of vitamin E. I've got my preservative. And I'm adding some vitamin B5. You can of course add other extracts or fragrance at this step. Just limit how much extract you add because remember we want a really light weightless finish to this product as it will be left on the hair. It is not intended to be rinsed out. Then we need to check and adjust the pH. Now as it's a conditioner product, we do want a relatively low pH so that it clings to the hair nicely. Around 4.1 to 4.5. And there we have our no rinse hair conditioner. Now a couple of important things when you wanna create this type of product. You'll notice that I used a liquid cationic emulsifier. And this is really important. If you use a waxy material, you'll have to be very, very careful about not adding too much wax to the formula as that will weigh the hair down and could cause it to clump as it dries. Using a liquid material, I don't have to worry about the waxy input. Now remember, if you can't access some of these materials, you can always join our Cosmetic Raw Materials for Small Brands Facebook group. There you can post your location and what you'd like to split packs with others with, and you might be surprised you can access some of these fantastic materials from the larger suppliers and split packs with others near you. 
It's also really important that you don't use too much conditioning agent as it will be left on the hair and not rinsed off. In this formula, I use just under a third of what I would use in a rinse off product. So when you're creating your no rinse conditioner, just make sure you play around with that conditioner input, that use of that cationic emulsifier material, and it should be about a quarter to a third of what you'd normally use in a rinse off product. And this helps reduce any potential irritancy, as well as make sure the hair feels beautifully soft and conditioned and not weighed down. Also keep that oil level exceptionally low. Remember oil on the hair makes it feel heavy and lank. The conditioning is coming from your cationic emulsifier and the cationic wah I used at the start. You'll notice I didn't use a polyquaternium. Now if you wanted to use a polyquaternium material, I would then say omit the quaternary gua because both would be too much in the formula and could weigh the hair down. I used a combination of a cationic gua with a regular gua to help build the body to this formula without excess tackiness and it also boosts its conditioning performance. As you can see, the final product has a beautiful viscosity. It doesn't run from the hand when it's dispensed, but it does spread through the hair beautifully. Well, there you go. That's how to make a no rinse conditioner. Just remember to be careful with some of those conditioning inputs because you don't want to weigh the hair down because the product stays on the hair and saves excess water by eliminating a rinse off step. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.